The first five hours of this journey was spent waiting on various roadsides and trying to talk the police out of charging us for some stuff I'm not going to mention. Eventually, after a lot of hassle, we found a lift going 300 kilometers in the right direction. We decided we didn't want to go the whole way because we wanted to stretch the journey over a few days. So our driver dropped us on the side of the road, telling us we were crazy as we wandered into the pitch black trying to find somewhere to wild camp. It turns out we camped on a tobacco farm. There's a man already hitchhiking where we want to stand. Bit annoying. Yeah. Okay, he's got a lift. Can we ask if we can get in at the front? Oh, stuff there. Go quick, quick, he's gone. Our next lift was going the whole way to Bucharest. Vio, our driver, took us out for dinner and even paid for all three of us to stay in the same Airbnb as him. The next day, similar to before, we didn't want to go to the city straight away, so we got him to drop us on a roadside and we wandered into the wilderness for some wild camping. After 24 hours at the wild camping spot, we ran out of food and clean drinking water. We decided to walk five kilometers into the nearest village and knock on people's doors, asking them to fill up our water bottles and offered them to do farm work in return for some food. Nobody had any work for us. Nevertheless, food was piled into our bags. The remote villagers fascinated that there were some foreigners around. We became like celebrities in the village. As we were walking back to our camp, a lady stopped on the side of the road and invited us to her house for a shower and some food. I don't know how dirty I must have been, but she even gave me some clean clothes. Bread, sausages, beer, more bread, grapes, and then we start- Fucking big, huge bottle of coke. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got a t-shirt and a clean pair of pants. I think uh, kindness is quite contagious because like if you've been shown loads of kindness throughout your life then you just want to give and be kind to other people but yet if you haven't then I feel like they're the type of people that just aren't kind and it's all due to your experiences with people and meeting people like her just makes you want to be more kind. And... After three days at the Blissful River we hit the road again with just 100 kilometres until our final destination. We had to hitchhike on the highway, which is illegal. Okay. But we had no choice. After waiting for a few hours, we made it. We were waiting for ages on the highway. Ah, oh, I want to go to a hitchhike Albania. 